Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are just going to head towards the next town, which I think is back to big city, back to Paris, essentially. Woohoo! Um, at the moment, I have decided just to bring Juge back on, although we definitely need to do some grinding for Juge or else put him at the start of the lineup just to get some experience. We do have Wily here in the box. We do have Wily. Honestly, the way I record these, the episode where I asked you what we should do with Wily has not gone live yet. So if that episode comes out and it's overwhelmingly like, oh my God, you have to add him to the team. I, I will come make the switch, but I haven't I haven't heard your feedback yet. So at the moment, I'm doing just what feels right and keeping the Jujster on the team. I don't feel like Juge just had a great opportunity to just like shine yet either, you know? Uh, so we're gonna, that's what we're doing right now, as it were. Uh, let me move this window, go away, okay. That was not related to the gameplay. Let's heal up and we'll roll out. So let's take another quick look at the team before we actually start heading out. Goyrin commanding such mad respect from everyone on the team right now. Um, just I, everyone's so impressed with her heroics at the last gym. Uh, she's been so strong lately for everybody. Um, and she in turn has been like so like her and Axe becoming super uh, super tight now. Uh, as we all know, Goyron, very nervous about the last gym. Um, and Axe totally just like, got her calm, got her through it. It was amazing. And his, his meditative way. So now Goyron too has started taking up. Like, Goyron used to walk around camp, you know, just very kind of like, it's so weird. Because Axe, as we all know, big on the meditation. And Goyron would just sort of like stand there and be creepy when, he, uh, when she was an Esper. Now it's like, still very still, but in a much more like, axe type way um boy if, if there's anything it's really juge we gotta we, we gotta work on juge everyone else doing so great i feel like everyone's getting along for the most part fatterhorn and lucas Xander even getting along even though lucas Xander got rid of mats the old mats and fats duo there um chloe i will say on the one hand though is um is feeling a, a little a smidge of the intimidation as you might expect from goyrin um I mean, they're both cats for one. Uh, they're of course the two females on the team, but for the longest time, Chloe has been the stronger of the two. And now that Goyrin is like the strongest on the team, I think it's mm, it's a little, uh, you know, she's a maybe just a little envious. So, um, but that's something even even Chloe can learn from Axe because Axe at the moment isn't even the strongest level wise on the team. Um, but you know, he's not intimidated in any way. Everyone still looks to Axe as the leader and he understands that he's much, you know, he's, he's internalized that Chloe, -O, much more hard on her sleeve as you might expect. Um, but there you go. That's our little team update for the day. Let's head out to wherever we gotta go. What do you give me something free or are you just construction? Mm-hmm. Oh, new root, new root. Yes. Oh, what is this? Oh, hello, wine gums. Dear neighbor, you should use this. HMO3 Surf. I should use that. Very good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, Axe just got a massive upgrade. Let me just uh, double check here. Poke Pokemon. I think, I think we are a special attacker. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, wonderful. Time to say goodbye to the old water pulse and replace it in favor of the surf. There we go. Oh, Juge can learn surf. That's interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, because if we're against like a fire type, then that gives us quite an attack. That would be interesting. Mm, I'm going to have to see about that. I'm going to have to see about that. Uh, oh, and also Fatterhorn. Although I don't know if we need to do that. Uh, but Axe for sure. Let's bust out that stab. Yes. <laughs> Water Pulse. Forget. One and two and Poodoof. There we go. Mighty Surf. There, there it is. I bet that immediately comes in handy. And we're on, oh, oh, you guys look like you might have free things. 
Maybe. Maybe. You know what? The Skiddo and the Ranch are surprisingly comfortable to ride. Uh, we don't ride, Juge, all right. Route 12. Here we go. Here we go. What, do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Hey, this kind Lapperts won't save me from drowning. I feel bad, though. I can't afford to travel around and show it to the wild worlds beyond. Uh... Oh. Free Lapras. Yeah, we're going to do that. Hold on. Hold on. Lapras seems like a pretty solid need. Uh, we want that. That's, I guess, going to be our Pokemon for that route. That'll be fun. Do, 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 do. Now, that being said, we've already got an ice and a water type on the team. Uh, so it's not like a huge issue. We're just going to do a quick switch around here. It's going to we're going to put Lapras in the box, but for the moment, we may as well pick it up, right? I feel like the free Lapras is sort of a callback to the Kanto region as much as getting a free starter is. Boy, so if you get to this point in the game, you would in quick succession be gifted a free uh, Lapras and a free Lucario within the span of like five minutes. Yeah. I wonder how many people get to the end. Let's see. Um, Xylia. Welcome Xylia, the Lapras to the box for the time being, for the time being. Lapras, man, I haven't really ever used a Lapras, I don't think, but they're, I imagine they're probably fairly good Nuzlockers. They seem very bulky, very, very bulky indeed. Uh, we're gonna go switch it out for Juge just yet, but here we go. Well, that's our Pokemon for Route 12, I guess, so that's done. Hooray, we caught it! Lapras, Water Pulse, Body Slam, Rain Dance, Parish Song. Man, not bad. Not bad, Xylia. Um, I mean, as I said, we already have Axe and Lucasander here for the water and the ice. But if anyone, I mean, let me know. It's, it's, I can't imagine who we would possibly replace for Xylia. Um, but there we go. Options. Two very strong options in the box right now. Um, We'll just say hello to everyone else while we're in here. We have Kara, Mats, Gaspar, Van Busk, Moko, Boonski, and Sordillo. There you go. That's everyone in the box in case you needed a quick refresher. And now, for reals, to the, to the, the, the Route 12. Boop, 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 boop. And we're off. I am curious what might have been in that grass, but I doubt it was as good as a Lapras. As you obey. Okay, so at the very least, you'd have to think Juge would be good against some of these water fights, right? Right? Probably. Surf! Mm-hmm. Go, Frogadier. You. Fight me. Swimming alone, swimming alone. Oh, yeah. Boy, that guy's really happy. I mean, yeah. Alessandro. Ah, Quillfish. What you got, Quillfish? You got nothing on Mighty Juge. I hope. 29 verse 21. Uh, Leech Seed. We got this. Stockpile. Oh. Oh, you wouldn't. Here we go. So, uh, in my mind, I'm still thinking of Halt as a grass type Pokemon who is not weak to poison, but most grass, I think, are, right? Is that a thing? I think so. Uh, in which case, this could be less than ideal if he starts using poison attacks on us. All of a sudden, uh, switch it out to big old fatter horn here. Who's basically invincible now that he has a Rocky Helmet and the, uh, we got nothing. Load your defense. And you've been leech seated by Juge. Mm-hmm. 
lot of stuff happening there. Uh, let's go for the old yield body slam. Oh boy. Oh, stockpile. Lame. Lame. Kaboom. Toxic spikes. Well, basically this means we're not switching out anymore, are we? Don't need to be taking any uh, random poison damage from everything. Juge with a low 22. Yeah. Do it, Juge. Take down. Hmm, let's see. Uh, me thinks not. Me thinks not. Mm hmm. Keep old moves. Keep old moves. Yes. Juge did not learn takedown. Mm hmm. Binacle. Well, now, there you go. That's a different and unique Pokemon than we've seen in quite some time. Mud Slap. <laughs> oh, no. Our accuracy, I believe, is going to be lowered by that. That is the fun of Mud Slap damage and accuracy loss it's like a much better sand attack uh haha yeah that's right we might have missed but you can't even move wow what a fun fight everyone's just rubbing their eyes and what seriously three misses in a row on one accuracy drop it's outrageous. We still almost got him with the Rocky Helmet, though. There we go. All right, all right. Whew. Well, I guess we know that Fats, uh, when his accuracy goes down, it goes down. Maybe he doesn't have very good vision. Hmm. Well done, team. What is over? Oh, nothing back there that I can tell. Yes, is there some, maybe, maybe you can access somewhere from the other side of the beach. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to surf across and continue on. Take down here. Oh, fight. What's up? I grew tired of city life and decided to wander the world. I'm not aiming for anywhere in particular. Well, you're going to be out here wandering a while then. Jordan Lanoon Mm-hmm. Let's see it, Juge. You got this, buddy. You got this. Probably you don't though. So actually what we're gonna do is uh switch it up. We're gonna uh bring in Mighty Axe. Do a little surfing on this thing. Odor sleuth. Alright, if you say so. X was identified. I have a Pokedex for that, so. Uh, good job, I guess, Lanoon. Mudsport, wow. Maybe we should have left Juge in. Mm-hmm, yeah, you're killing it. Quick attack, finish him off. Kapusha. There it is. <laughs> I feel like I gotta let everyone else stretch their legs a little here. We've seen so much Gorin fighting lately. Backpack of Jordan, you've been defeated. <laughs> Victory is ours. Ooh, I do feel like there must be something down here, right? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Anyway, I don't have time to explore. I want to know what that item was though. Way over here. Oh no, what's it going to be? If this is something better than a Lapras, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, oh no. A mil we could have got. We could have had a mill tank. You guys know how much I love mill tank. There's one like right over below me. Ah, uh, mill tank. Ah, uh, mill tank. The most unexpected one of my favorite Pokemon ever since the Heart Gold Nuzlocke Challenge, where we caught the shiny Nova. Oh, oh my gosh! Can you imagine if we? If this had been a shiny, what would the odds have been? Milton, I think, would have skyrocketed to my actual favorite Pokemon if, it, if that if something like that happened. Oh my gosh. Can we defeat it? Can we defeat it? I don't know. Milk drink. That feels like it's going to make it much harder to defeat. But I bet we get a level if we do defeat it. So, Razor Leaf, is this the way? 
It is not the way. Leech seat, yeah, okay. We're gonna take this thing down. We're getting this level. We must trust in the mill tank. We will take your experience. Oh, it makes me so mad we didn't get to catch it. Ah. Oh. I mean, it's probably not super great odds. Oh, you're gonna body slam Fatterhorn? I don't think so, bud. You can take that Rocky helmet and that leech seed, and next turn he's gonna be all like, milk drink. Mm-hmm, it's gonna be very annoying. The thing is, we don't need a mill tank because we have, you know, Fatterhorn here. Bide. Oh God, we might have to run. This could be very bad. Unless we just get the kill. Oh, with the leech seed. Oh, you have bide, you sneaky mill tank. My goodness. Hmm. That's all right. Juge, did you get a level? Yay, Juge got a level 23. Hooray, Juge. You did it. You've already gone two levels this episode. You're mightier than ever. Ooh. See, I always hate that Goyron has cut until moments like this when it's like, oh yeah. <gasps> Leftovers? Holy butts. That's like the best item in the game. Guess who just became absolutely unstoppable? It's Fatterhorn. Yeah, we're switching. All right, there we go. I mean, someone else can carry the Rocky Helmet. Uh, 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 but who? But who could carry the Rocky Helmet? Um, Chloe is not holding anything. I don't know if that makes the most sense, but it makes some sense. Oh my goodness. If Juge sets up a leech seed and then we switch into fats, I mean, my goodness, the untold recoverability from leftovers and leech seed combined. That is going to be outrageous. I love Skittos so much, I feel like I've been hit with the attract move. Attract? Maybe we should give it to our Skiddo. Mm-hmm. what do you say? You can't pick up an item from the ground. Could be poor manners. Ah, twould it now, alrighty then. Twould be poor manners to pick up an item from the ground while riding on the back of your Skiddo. Got my own skiddo actually, so oh look! Haha! -ha! Oh, this is cool. Hey hey! Can I go over here? Oh yay! Woo! Look at this! Yeah, what is the point of this? Boink, boink, boink. It's more leftovers! I doubt it. A shiny stone? What does that do? Is that for evolution? I don't even know. Does it like boost the power of something? No, not here. Let's look at items. Oh, it causes certain species of Pokemon to evolve. Okay, well, I don't think we have said Pokemon. So, riding, riding. This is probably not, uh, I wonder what Juge thinks about this. He's probably like, hey, I'm right here. You could just ride me. I'm like, no, Juge, you're not some common Freedom! Can we fight you? Do you want to fight me? You're about to find out just how strong my family is. Oh, is that right? I've heard that before. Many times before, actually. Pokemon breeder, Emala. Survivor. Man, everything has a poison something all of a sudden. It's like, okay, fine, fine. Just when I'm out here training the Jugester, you had to do me like that. Anyway. Uh, Goyrin, come make quick work of this dumb snaky snake. Who doesn't even know, uh, what, how to sit on the ground. Well, snakes need to go like sideways. They can't, it's not like a, not like an up and down wave. All right, side shock. There we go. Mighty Goyrin. I tell you, it's surprising to me that she has a Sviper of all things. She doesn't look like a Sviper trainer. Mill tank! <gasps> oh my gosh, I bet hers is a little bit better. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, in any case, bring on the fat hole. Now, if this thing has bide as well, we might have an issue. I'm thinking maybe we should actually try and put it to sleep. We're gonna just have to yawn it. Oh no, it's rolling out. 
Uh-oh. Fortunately, we have leftovers. Look at the absolute outrageousness of this move. Oh boy, we're gonna yawn this thing to um, slow down its rollout for sure. Mm-hmm. It's gonna get drowsy. Unfortunately, I think it's still gonna launch at least one more at us. Maybe even two? Uh, lest we can body slam it. Fortunately, this rollout is not doing a ton of damage, but it gets stronger with each attack. Oh, and it's paralyzed, so now we should be good. And we're just going to heal it off anyway, because Leftovers is insane. I can't believe it's just sitting there on the ground. Boy, some people were like, you don't need cut. Body slam. Be paralyzed. Oh, 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 but wait. Oh, did we paralyze it? So worth noting, yawn and body slam don't work well together because one can nullify the other. Which makes me wonder if maybe we should dismiss yawn in favor of one of those new fighting moves we just got. Or even surf. And it's going to go to 33. Oh, Goyren. Huh? First time I thought it was Juge. I was like, yeah, Juge. In my mind, it wasn't Juge. Uh, what's up, Skidoo? Wee! My swarm of bug type Pokemon is a tip top shape for a buzz in a battle. If you say it, if you say so. Your bug Pokemon, Yanma! That's fun. I like Yanma. I think the um the uh the second Pokemon I ever like fully EV trained or whatever, I think it was a, a Yanmega. Uh back in the day. Back in the day. Go, Chloe, yo. Switch it out. All right, stretch your legs. Stretch your legs, girl. Hit him with the fire fang. Don't let them eat those berries. They're so hungry, but you're not going to let them eat. Uh, what? Did, was that kind of way too much damage, do you think? Right? What? was that i mean it was a critical hit but still but still i say i still feel okay doing this but if this is another crit if we die to a freaking yanma oh my gosh fire fang this destroy it what Oof. for a second i thought it was gonna hit me again i was like what is this nonsense uh first of all we're absolutely apparently needing to heal Chloeo. But he's going to hit us with another two freaking uproars between now and then. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Everybody just calm down. Here we go. Fire Fang. Oh, what is this? Uh huh. If he hit us with any sort of physical attack, they would have died. And now we're being hit by confusion. Toeo, you got this. Don't be intimidated by this dumb bug. What is this? What is this? Sonic Boom. That's going to be our 19. Snapped out. Thank you. What a weirdly difficult fight with a Yanma. Don't like that at all. Juju to level 24. Good job, Juju. Mothem. Mothem? Okay, if you say so. First of all, we're going to spend a freaking turn healing again because somehow that Yanma was amazing. Lived our mighty fire, Fang. Just, okay. Feeling a little bit better about that. Mm hmm. And now, Fire Fang. Crunch, crunch. Oh, oh, what is this nonsense? But Rocky helmet damage. Boom. I love the Rocky helmet. Oh, it's so fun. It's so good. There we go. Chloe, you to look toward none. All right. Well done, Chloe. -o. Warlipede. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Go for the fire fang here. You got this one shot. Use that new level. Oh, it's got so much defense. Oh, it's burned. Okay, that's good. That means it can't hit us very hard. 
but it'll still take the same amount of oh we probably did more damage with rocky helmet and he's gonna be hit by the burn burning is so such a good thing like whenever i get a pokemon that has will-o-wisp i like i love it because once they're burned if they're a physical attacker it's like that's it they've lost so much of their attack power they're a non-entity and they take damage which is great you never really got stirred up well i uh will applaud your bug type pokemon normally bug trainers are the worst but that was pretty good kid uh to the point where i feel like we should perhaps just uh potion up chloeo here why not and now we shall fight this jamoker oh Oh, apparently I can't fight you whilst riding on my go-goat. I like to bury my face in the fur around Taurus's neck and take a big whiff of its scent. What? It's a jinx for battle I hear? What? What does that mean? You jinxing yourself? Is that what I'm hearing? Do you have a Tauros? Is that also what I'm hearing? A Zangoose. Interesting. Um. Hmm. 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 Zangoose indeed. Uh, Leech Seed. I feel okay just because he has the Eevee Light, so we should be able to be taking this shot. Revenge. Well, it's gonna do nothing. We barely hit ya. All right, let's see if Juge can take out this Zangoose. That would be pretty. That'd be a pretty nice win. We might. I don't know if we'd get a full-on level, but that'd be pretty good. Raise a leaf. Crush Claw. Oh! Nope, we can't do it. Never mind. Boy, that was a lot of damage. Hmm. We're going to switch it out too. So, Crush Claw, I think, is a fighting type move, so I don't want to go to Fatterhorn. I think we might just go. We can go Axe or Goyward. I mean, uh, let's go Axe. Switch it up. Let's get a little axe a little more. A little more experience on the day. Use that surf. Revenge. Nothing. We're gonna have to start watching out for fighting type moves with axe after he evolves. He's gonna pick up the dark typing, which will be helpful in some ways and hindrance in some ways. As ever. This should be straight up excellent though. Surf! Yeah, there we go. You got nothing, Zangoose. Uh, and he does have a Tauros. Okay. Oh, you have Intimidate. Well, that doesn't matter because we're going to use Surf, so whatever. Uh, Surf? Douge. Ooh. Payback. Uh oh. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Um. Hmm. That did a surprising amount of damage, I dare say. And it was, it's a dark type thing. Let's switch to, let's go into pattern. This guy's all about like the uh, retaliating type moves. Pursue! Okay. Axe! 
pursuit! We just lost our starter on this random trainer battle to a Tauros. I did not see that coming. I was so unprepared. Why? Why have you done this to me? You will pay for that. I can't. I can't. I don't even. How? But. Was so good. Ooh, it's so painful. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is not good at all. Okay. Okay. Episode over. Um. Oh my gosh. Axe. Oh. Oh no. Oh, say it isn't so. Oh. No, it can't be. Oh, no. No, oh, no. Okay. 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 Wow. Well, um... Please leave your condolences for the mighty axe. Axe who Luke chose for us. Oh, I had such high hopes for you, buddy. I had such, I thought we were gonna go all the way. The team, what is gonna happen to the team? Oh, oh this is the worst. This is the worst. Oh, Tauros. Tauros, what? Pursuit on it. <laughs> Okay. Well, Xylia? Probably. It's the thing? Not, not the time. Not the time. I'm gonna go uh, recover from this terrible loss. Please leave your condolences for Axe in the title section down below. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Just... Oh. Uh... Gosh. <sighs> Until next time. Bye. Boom, dead. Ha.